Assalamu alaikum wa barakatuh. This is Ms. Linda. Today, inshallah, we're going to solve uh, IB uh, past uh, paper exams. We're going to start with the uh, last year exam, uh, May uh, 2022. So here we have uh, airports uh, are used to transport across a river. To move the boat forward, air is propelled from the back of the boat by a fan blade. So here we have a fan blade on the boat. The boat is moving forward and the air is moving backward. Outline why a force act on the airport due to fan uh, blade. Now this is from the conservation of momentum. We know force equals change in momentum with respect to change in time. So here we have air gains momentum backward. Air is moving backward. And that will push the boat forward. So gain the boat will gain momentum in the opposite direction. Now, same question. Here we have the radius 1.8 meter. And that fan can propel air with maximum speed relative to the boat. So here, this is the maximum speed for the air and the density for the air. So R is 1.8. The speed, the velocity of the air is 20 meter per second. This is meter and the density rho 1.2 kilogram per meter cube. Now the question is, Show that a mass of about 240 kilograms of air moves through the fan every second. Every second. If you remember, this is from topic uh, two, energy production. When we studied uh, wind uh, power, we said the power is change in energy divided by change in time. The energy that's been changing here is the kinetic energy of wind. Now, kinetic energy is half mass times velocity squared. I'm not going through all the, because we drive this one already in the class, I'm going to reach till here. I have the power equals half mass. Mass is density rho times the area of the wind turbine times the velocity of the wind times V squared. So this is what I want. I want rho times V A. So M, let's go back to the question. M will equal rho V times the cross-sectional area. Rho for air is 1.2. Now all the units are need to convert all the unit SI units. So if the units are consistent, no need to convert. You convert if you have inconsistent units, like for example, one of units meter, the other one centimeter or gram, they're mixed unit. Now all of them SI units, no need to convert. The velocity is 1.8. The cross-sectional area is pi r squared. So pi r is 1.8 squared. If you like these values on the calculator, you should get 244 the unit for mass, this is kilogram. This is a change in mass per change in time. So mass kilogram per second, which is around 240. If I want to round it to two significant figures, is around 240 kilogram per second. Show that the tension in the rope is about five kilo in Newton. I know from from Newton's second law, force equals change in momentum with respect to change in time. Change in momentum, momentum is mass times velocity. Now, the thing that changed is m with respect to time. We know m from here. m is rho times velocity times area times the velocity. So it will be rho, the density times the area times V squared, velocity squared. If you plug like these values, 1.2 times 
times the cross-sectional area pi times 1.8 squared times the velocity of the air, which is 20 square, you will get around 4,880, 4, which is around 4.9, if I want to round it to two significant figures, kilo in Newton, kilo Newton. You can put the point here, move it to the right to reach only one digit. So it will be one, two, three, 4.9, around the number 4.9 kilo Newton. Okay, same question. The rope is untied and the airport moves away from the bank. The variation with time of the speed V of the airport is shown for the motion. So you have here velocity versus time graph. Okay, the question is estimate the distance, estimate the distance the airport travels to reach the maximum speed. Now, when, when, when you have velocity versus time graph, I know distance or displacement equals average velocity times time. So if I want to find the distance, it will be the area under velocity versus time graph. So you're going to count how many squares here times the area of the square. So if you count the, the squares, this, for example, one, two, three, four, five, etc. You will find around, you will have around 51.5 squares. Of course, you estimate. Now, the area of each square from here till here, this is five. The horizontal distance is five and the vertical distance is two. So the area of each square is 10. So how you're going to find the displacement? It will be the number of the squares, you're counting the number of the squares times the area of one square. Number of squares, we have 51.5 times 10. you will get 515 meter, 515 meter. This is the distance the airport travels to reach maximum speed. Now I need to find the mass of the airport from Newton's second law, F equals mass times acceleration. M will be the tension force divided by acceleration. Tension force, we've just calculated, it was 4.9 times 10 to the power 3 Newton. Acceleration, you go to the same graph, velocity versus time, and you find the slope. The maximum velocity, maximum velocity is here, from here, from here till here, when the, you have uh, the line is moving upward like this, here the velocity, the tangential line, it's, it's less steeper, and here it's less steeper. So the maximum speed, it will be here. So if I found the tangential velocity here between zero and five seconds, the value here, the value at five seconds of the velocity is around 5.2. Each square up is 0.4. Each square up is 0.4. So it's between 5.2 and 5.4 minus zero. So this slope acceleration will be the slope. It will be rise over run. So the distance from here till here is 5.2 minus zero divided by five minus zero. We give you around almost 
one meter per second square. Okay, you can take any numbers as well, just as long as you're you're going to draw a um, tangential line. So this divided by one, mass of the boat will be around 4.9 times 10 to the power of 3 kilogram. Last part of the question, D. The fan is rotating 100 revolution every minute. Calculate the centripetal acceleration. Now we know the centripetal acceleration, it's the angular velocity times angular velocity squared times the distance or radius r. Now angular velocity omega, I have 120 revolution in one minute. One minute means 60 second, 60 second. Now we need to convert this one to radian. One radian will equal one revolution. One revolution will equal two pi. One cycle or one revolution will equal two pi in radian. I will get rid of the revolution. So 120 times two pi divided by 60. This will give me 1.56 radian per second. And then you can find the acceleration. The acceleration will be from this formula. The radius is 1.8 times 12.56 square. This will be equal to 284 meter per second square, meter per second square. We'll continue the rest of uh, the question in next videos, inshallah.